Now, the next thing about a new covenant is that it means a new kind of forgiveness. And I'll tell you, for some of us, this is maybe the most important part of all. A new kind of forgiveness. Now, I want you to imagine that you walk in as a Jewish person. You walk in to the temple, to the tabernacle, and the first thing you see is your priest. Now, your priest is seated in a chair, just like this. Now, God wouldn't allow this, but I want you to imagine, because this is a forbidden piece of furniture in the Jewish temple. In the tabernacle, this was not allowed. Now, why is that? Well, I mean, just picture it. Here he is. You walk in. He's kicked back in a lazy boy, and he says, what's up? <laughs> I mean, what does that communicate to you? This guy has nothing left to do. And so, God would not allow that. And instead, what do we read in the Bible? It says, daily, every priest stands. Not sits. Stands. Offering the same sacrifices over and over and over again. And they can never take away sins. But... When this priest, capital P, when this priest, Jesus Christ, offered himself for one time, what did he do? He sat down. Now I got a question for you. What position are you in? regarding your sins. Are you up, running around, suffering from the Martha syndrome, Martha, 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 trying to get right and get clean and fire up apologies and wait and hope and beg for forgiveness and wondering if you can get that feeling or will you sit down with Jesus Christ and say, and say, it is finished. Sound familiar? You know, little kids do this. After a good meal, you know what they say? All gone. <laughs> now, this is the gospel. Your relationship with the law, all gone. Your sins, all gone. That dirty sinner self that you used to be at the core, crucified with Christ, and all gone. Any obstacle between you and God is now all gone. 